Now, some mRNAs are not being translated all the time in eukaryotic cells, and they're actually repressed, perhaps to be translated in a different time or a different place. And that repression of mRNAs commonly inv involves the formation of what I would call a non-functional mRNP, or mRNA protein complex. Interestingly enough, a common theme in those types of complex is that the cap structure is bound by this cap binding protein, EIF4E, we've been discussing. But now, instead of being partnered with EIF4G, it's partnered with other proteins. Here's an example, CUP in Drosophila, or Maskin in uh, Xenopus. And that those then uh, are bound to other RNA sequence specific binding proteins to create a complex which keeps the cap bound by this cap binding protein, but is now uh, unable to go on by binding to other translation factors and enter translation. One of the reasons this is probably such a prevalent type of complex for repression is that by binding the cap here with a cap binding protein, we're actually going to block the major pathway of mRNA degradation. So this not only represses the mRNA for translation, but keeps it available by preventing its degradation. And I'll discuss that in a few minutes here when we talk about degradation. Now, these repressed mRNAs often end up in large RNA protein granules in the cytoplasm. So, for example, uh, repressed RNAs often end up in structures in somatic cells, be they yeast, humans, plants, C. elegans, every eukaryote I've looked at so far, which are called P bodies. And similarly, mRNAs that are repressed in uh, germ cells, where maternal mRNAs are made by the mother, deposited in, in the uh, oocyte, and used in the embryo in certain places and certain times uh, to direct development, are stored in what are called germinal granules. As I'll talk about in my second lecture, these different types of RNA granules are all related to each other and use a common set of RNA binding proteins to regulate the translation and even degradation of many of these mRNAs. And that how these different granules function will be the subject of my second uh, lecture.